Well, so basically, when it comes to the threats coming from Russia, the biggest uh, concern of a number of countries which are uh, occupying the um, eastern flank of NATO, uh, or simply the Central Eastern European members of, of, of the European Union, is that um, Russia, with its um, uh, military conventional advantage and some state-of-the-art cap capabilities, military assets, mainly missiles, uh, will be able to win a limited uh, geographically and limited in time um, uh, kind of a military conflict against one of the NATO uh, member states and EU member states. And this way, this, this um, uh, advantage and uh, the winning of a military conflict will create a fair complete situation uh, which will allow Russia to renegotiate uh, how the European uh, security and political order um, works. Basically, from what is the reading of the Russian intentions is that Russia would like to stop any future enlargement of NATO and the EU and also discuss about the, the status of the countries which used to be either uh, inside Soviet Union, like the Free Baltic States, or were in the um, Warsaw Pact, like, like the Poland and other countries from uh, Central and Eastern Europe. And so the essence of the threat coming from Russia is not about, um, for now at least, the Third World War, but about uh, rewriting how policy works in Europe, how international relations works in Europe, and rewrite it to the kind of a um, uh, concert of powers model, model in which smaller states uh, have to follow um, instructions, have to follow um, the interest of bigger powers. And this is what uh, needs to be prevented by uh, the joint actions of the EU, of NATO, but be, by being uh, um, politically cohesive and, and showing solidarity towards, uh, towards each other's um, reasonable and uh, towards each other uh, legitimate threat perceptions. You know, what, for you, what is the, how do you can explain the, the, the way to the autonomy, or European autonomy, and in link with uh, NATO, EU autonomy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the question about the uh, future of NATO and the future of the transatlantic relation has been in the core of all debates about um, first low orbital defense and now the European strategic autonomy. So basically, the US and many other um, European countries are asking what will be the effect um, on NATO, on the transatlantic relation, on American involvement in um, in uh, European security and American guarantees to Europeans, uh, to Europeans uh, if the EU develops um, a kind of a strategic autonomy, meaning the ability to decide on, on the use of force autonomously and implement these decisions. Uh, this has been a central factor to the debates. And uh, I think that we have moved um, uh, far uh, since uh, the well-known stalemates with prevented UNATO cooperation. Uh, we moved far, uh, starting from 2016, joint declaration of European Union and NATO, which enabled a practical cooperation uh, between the, the staffs of both organizations on a number of issues. This is about uh, preventing and, and identifying cases of hybrid war for disinformation propaganda. This is about, um, uh, finally, this things which is called military mobility. And this is particular, a particular case in which um, uh, European Union, with its uh, regulative power, with its money for dual-use infrastructure, can actually help to um, uh, make uh, NATO deterrence in the Eastern Front more credible, simply by uh, building new infrastructure or, up or upgrading old infrastructure like bridges, airports, harbors, um, or railways. Uh, it may be uh, easier to move troops and military equipment from one part of the European Union to the other, which is uh, of utmost uh, importance for, for credible deterrence uh, of Russia uh, in the eastern flank. Simply, this is, this is about being able to, to, to move forces and to, to, to be credible in, in deterring threats. And this is what the EU is doing because NATO doesn't have tools um, uh, to do it. Uh, and this is the best example of how the EU-NATO cooperation can work. Uh, if there are many examples uh, more like that, then the, finally, I hope the, the, the case of the um, EU-NATO relationship and the problem of what will be the effect of European strategic autonomy on uh, transatlantic relations will be, will be solved uh, successfully.